Hi. In the first video, we have created our first web program using the web editor in SC38 and we have write on our screen my first web program. So in continuation to that, we will add some more detail, we will print some more character string on the web screen. So this time instead of SC38, we will go to SC80. So enter transition code as SC80. SC80. Now here, by default my program name is there. If it is not there, then you have to select from this drop box the program because there are different objects are there like package, function group, function model, classes, etc. So for pro program, select program, enter the name and click on display. This gives the hierarchical structure of the program as we have already created one transition code that also we can see inside this. So double click here. So you can see the complete navigation from here. And from here also we can see the editor like S38. Just click on this icon that is full screen on off. So you can see the same screen. Again, if you want to see the hierarchical form, click on this. Now, this time we'll see how to write the multiple write statement, how to print on a new line. Then we'll see how we can add the comment, then positioning of the write statement and how to add a vertical and horizontal line. So I want to comment this previous write statement. So for adding any comment, just at the first letter, very first letter, type star. As you type star, the whole line will get comment. Second option for commenting is instead of this suppose after this syntax if you want to add comment just add a double quote and write this is a comment so in this case system will print system will execute this particular part and this comment will be as it is let me show you so and activate execute okay so this is coming title bar actually this is not a so you can see it is writing this way and instead of double code you type star at the beginning this will make the whole program as comment and this will not print this text even if I am executing it is not printing anything ok because I comment a complete line so in this way we can add the comment either by star at the first place or at the last we can add the double code now let's write the new character string. Write. Let's say I want to print a list of consultants. So writing as name. And to print the second character string, press uh, enter the comma here. Once we enter the comma, then we can write the second. Let's say role. And third, I want to add email ID. As every line should get completed with a full stop. So I'm adding a full stop here. So I'm writing here, write name or role and email ID. Now in second line, I'm writing here, it's a name as John. And ending rule as SD consultant, comma for adding new character string. Again, add in a single quote. Let's say I'm adding the email ID as John at the rate. Learn SAP.com. Now first I have given a heading and then I have written a record which I want to print. Save, check, 
and activate now execute as it is now if you see here it is printing all the characters in the same line all the words it is printing in the same line but my requirement is on the first row i want to name role and email id and is john as the consultant and email id should come on the second line so how to do that so for printing on the new line always after this write and the colon add a backslash once we add the backslash now save and activate now you can see the first is my heading and second is my first record now similarly i will add the multiple two three rows in the same second option to move to the next line is here we can add a skip a space and the number of rows we want to skip let's say i want to print this after third line after three lines so i will enter here skip three you fully stop activate the program again click on direct processing that is or press the f8 button now you can see system has given three blank space if you want only one give the one activate and execute this way also we can add the blank space between two lines now let's say i want to add second record to copy this line below as it is put a cursor here and type control d as you type control d the same uh, uh, same row will get repeated in the next row you can press at any field on this row particular row and just press control d this will copy the entire line into new row now let's type here like my second consultant is let's say nikhil and he is a, a web consultant and email id is nikhil in third row i am adding as let's say vishal and he is let's say a fi consultant let's say shall let's add one more like this i am adding multiple rows after the heading line control s check and activate execute Now if you see here, system has printed the header line, the first line, and all the new records are printed one by one. But this is not easily readable because after fin finishing the printing of first name, it is directly printing the second name after just giving a one space. So how to make this in a properly readable format? For that, we'll make use of this. <coughs> positioning concepts okay so how to do that let's say i want to start printing up my first name that is john let's start from here i want to print at position 5 and then after 20 20 less 20 character i want to print roll and after printing of roll i want to print let's say my email id from the position 50 the same we have to add at all places after this back slash that is new line add the give the position here and let's say again the second field that is role i want to print from the position 20 and the last one i want to print the fourth position 50 repeat this for all the rows that is 5 20 we are giving position where to print from where to start printing of that particular word or variable say 20 and 50 so before 
before the string which you want to print give the position in numbers 5 10 like this save check and activate once we activate again click on direct processing so now you can see it is more readable I have to check why it is not coming here oh because I gave the same position let me make it 50 activate execute now you can see it is easily readable I can read the name I can read the role I can write I can read the email IDs so in this way we have seen how to write the chain statement that is multiple variety statement how to print character on new line how to add a comment positioning now we'll see how to add the vertical and the horizontal lines we can go back to our program let's say I'm adding one comment here I want to add the comment here as heading and those are my list of consultants okay now let's add the first the horizontal line so for a horizontal line we can type either u line so you can see the color is blue that means it is a keyword or we can write psi hyphen u line seven check okay so we have to give u line only give a u line here i want first line before the heading and after every record i want first to print underline we can say seven activate now can execute so you can see in a more beautiful way for every record we are given a lines now let's add the vertical lines like in between each or two column we want to print the vertical line so how to do that for adding the vertical line we can use two method after our first word where we want to add a vertical line either we can use a pipe icon from our screen, laptop screen always give a comma separated for separating a two words we have to use the comma here so for printing a vertical line either we can use this pipe we can type pipe word from the keyboard or second option is let's say okay not here let's say I want to print this line after the at the position 20 okay and after position 50 I want more, more vertical line so this time instead of this pipe I will use other concept that is called as SY psi hyphen V line this psi is stand for system fields the vertical line is a system field of the structure SY psi will understand psi in more detail in the upcoming sessions so as of now just understand that for printing a vertical line I then we can add a pipe icon or we can use psi vertical line and let's say after printing of this either line number 80 I want to give one more closing vertical line 7 activate execute now you can see after every word system is giving one vertical line I will remove this 50 okay similarly add the this for all the lines all the rows so can you can see the content in a better way so we'll add this for all the rows 
So I just added the same code and all the rows. Like after finishing the first, before starting my second word, I have given a vertical line using pipe icon. And then before every new word, I have added the vertical line. Okay. So let's check and activate. Now execute. Okay. So now you can see it is easily readable and the presentation is also good. At the very first, before this line and positioning, it was not easily readable. So in this way, we have seen how to write the chain statements, like multiple words on a single line. We have also seen how to print the data on the new line. We have seen how to add a comment. Also the positioning of the right statement. And also, how can we add the horizontal and vertical line? Those are the very basic program before going into the actual back coding with database first we have to understand the basic concepts because for making the reports like reports are also always in the table format so while making the report we, we should know how to separate a field how to add a distance how to add a vertical line how to add a horizontal line so this all concept will require for the future programming so in this way we done with this program learning.